Okay. Uh, so let's go directly to the contract. Uh, this is a, a, a DICE, a road DICE project, a demo. Uh, it's a simple demo. Mm, this is a contract uh, lib.ice. Mm, we can, I, I can see what's the point to show you. So uh, let's show, uh, let's talk about some of the main structure of this. This one, the main structure here, yeah, near dice. Uh, this is the main structure. We have a uh, owner ID. Uh, this one is for, uh, I I want to make this, uh, we, we want, we want to make this contract have some financial, you know, features. So uh, not only players can um, play at this, uh, on this contract, uh, also the the owner can get some, you know, some some reward. The reward comes from when uh, maybe Sarah win a, win the game. Maybe he uh, roll a, a dice six and he he gets the six, so he wins half of the jackpot. And uh, from his uh, win his uh, from his reward, the owner can get maybe five percent. This five percent is defined as a fraction here, uh, reward, reward free fraction. So this is a numerator, this is a denominator. So this is like the sticky, staking pool uh, contract, you know. Mm. So let's go on. Uh, so this dice number uh, defined uh, in one row, Action. We can we can roll one dice or uh, roll two dice together or three dice together. It's it's a expand point for further work. Uh, for this demo, it's only one dice, uh, one action. You know. Uh, as this rolling fee defines, we can the the user uh, should buy do buy dice first and then roll dice. This is a uh, really a, a price of a dice. So this is a jackpot, it's a typo, typo mistake, it's a POT jackpot. And the uh, owner part is uh, all the tips from the winner. Uh, owner part belongs to the owner of this contract. So uh, there are two, uh, two, you know, collections. Wing history stores all the Win event, we we choose to this uh, this factor from the uh, near SDK collections because we want the those uh, to store as long as possible. Uh, but in further work, in further work, we may consider about the storage fee about this vector. It may may grow uh, un, uh, uncontrolled, you know. So. Um, this accounts, uh, this account is store used to store like user buy some dice. Maybe uh, let's say one near per dice. Uh, a user can buy, can bought uh, ten dice using ten year, and then the dice is record in this lookup map. Mm, this account ID and uh, how many, how much they paid for uh, dice. So uh, for look up a map, using look up a map is, is uh, uh, consider about the, this map can, can shrink. If, if user uh, roll dice and uh, cause the balance uh, reduced to zero, then the look up map will remove this, this entry to, uh, to save some space of the you know, storage, storage space. And uh, this contract, we uh, we forbidden default, so uh, we can use this new fun this new method to as uh, the initial uh, method to uh, pass through owner ID, size number, rolling fee, and the tips fraction, 
And uh, after the initiation, initialize of this uh, contract, we also have to do uh, uh, to do an uh, action to, to really start this playground. That is to deposit jackpot. Because after the initialization, the jackpot is is empty. So it's the owner's possible uh, owner's possibility uh, the, the responsibility to deposit some initial fund to the jackpot. So you can see we uh, assert owner. So this this method and this withdraw method is belong to the owner owner's method. Only owner can call this method. And just a heads up, Marco, you're at five minutes now. Okay, <laughs> I have to speed up. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, um, let's see the randomness here. The randomness here is the uh, oh roll dice this function. Uh, so we get randomness from this one, random seed, because I say uh, I think randomness return a. Uh, 32 bytes randomness. So we have many ways to uh, to make it to a, a, a random number in our uh, our our own range. Mm, here is uh, just a, a, a one way to we add up it we add up all 32 bytes to one byte with this wrapping at and uh, to use this to uh, limit the random to from one to six. So this is the randomness and uh, okay. Mm. Uh, another point to mention is we split this. You see two method here, buy dice and uh, roll dice. Uh, at the first version, there is only one, one method, roll dice. We, we make the roll dice payable and uh, but but we but we uh, add a front end. Uh, we found a uh, found some something difficult to do because the web wallet, if a pay if a payable method is called from the front end, the front end page would redirect to the uh, you know official web page, and uh, so the front end cannot get any return value. So we have to split to two functions: buy dice and uh, roll dice. Yeah. Uh, maybe it's a quite a simple contract. Mm. Okay, so if you have any questions about this contract. Hey Michael, have we downloaded is there UI in mean, the front end? Yeah, uh, show the front end. Yeah, here is the front end. We can uh, let's move the screen here. Sign in. Okay. Okay, then, then we can buy maybe 10 dice. It's a payable function, so have to redirect to uh, the web, the 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 web wallet. So we have, uh, I have twelve dice. Also, I I have bought two <laughs> earlier. Then we can roll, like two, I guess two, and then there should be a uh, some automation picture, but it's a time limit. So I lose. The number is six, so something like that. So um, any questions? Scroll it at five, roll it at five, put five. I'm a lucky guy. <laughs> five, okay. Yeah. See how lucky you are. Yeah, yeah, let's, let's check it. <laughs> <laughs> you see? You win. <laughs> Wow! Oh, yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Wow. So, if anyone plays watch we just come, come my side. What a like, surprise! I, I take like just say uh, sixty <laughs> percent. Yeah. So Bahama, Hawaii. Yeah, What's correct. the third, the third place you want to go? 
That's wonderful. Thank you, Marco. Super so fun. any questions? Yeah, I have a question. Um, do you see any potential like uh, weak places in, uh, in in the contract itself or it, or in its integration with front end for the attacks? Like when people can, you know, can cheat because this is a little bit of, of gambling application, right? So and uh, you... Uh, most of uh, first uh, users, like you attract a lot of people who who come to make a quick buck, correct? So uh, a, anything that you can come uh, with, you know, like like very fast, like, okay, so this is where I have some concerns or anything. I think it can, uh, user cannot cheating on this game because, because the road dice, this one, road dice, yeah, it's, uh, something like kind of a, a, a atomic uh, action, you know. The people cannot know they cannot predict these random things. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, this this random thing is is generated after the people have take take his guess, you know. This is his guess, and uh, call the call this function. Then the function gets those random things. Uh, I think it's very hard to have a prediction of what wh what number it would be. Mm -hmm. No, I, I mean, I mean, if we, if we play with uh, with with front end, like, and I, I would like to uh, to roll the dice uh, like a hundred times and pay just for one uh, time, uh, is it possible? Or like, there is no way, like, whatever I use, uh, like my my hacker skills. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Maybe you can just add two two dice uh, to the to the action because one dice is only six points. You can, you I can, see. yeah, yeah. The jackpot cannot may may maintain ten year maybe because uh, when they uh, when they grow to twelve, you can uh, dice six or eight times. It, um, you you can win. <laughs> I can. You always can win and get half of them go. You know? Yeah, yeah, I'm not, I'm, I'm not asking for myself because I'm good, good, good is asking for a friend. I don't need it to cheat, right? I just, I just see play these winners, it. Okay, yeah. see these winners. I, I guess Lanier is you, right? Lanier always wins. Yeah, so welcome yeah, to the team. Yeah. It's, it's all, it's only record win, winners. It's a winners. Oh, please. This is great, Marco. Thank you so much. Really appreciate the demo. Congratulations on the progress. Um, and if there aren't any other questions, I think we can move on to the next demonstration. Um, thanks so much, Marco. Okay, I will fork. I will fork your here. repo. Yeah, I will fork your repo into the um, uh, into the the main uh, um, organization that we've been using. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, and that way people can follow up with your your source code and, and try and deploy the application and and is is everything in one repository or is this split across multiple repositories front end and contract how how have you organized it Yeah, uh, uh, I was the main author of the contract and the robot uh, robots write some unit test and mm -hmm. uh, deploy the deploy the whole project. Uh, okay. Another Great. two member write the mm -hmm. front end. You know. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. And and how many repositories is this project? Two repos? Only one. Two repos. One, one, when, two repos. One is, yeah, two repos. Okay, great. So I'll, I'll fork both of those into the, the org so people can try and rebuild it. And it would be great if you can add some instructions. I don't know. I haven't looked at your repositories yet so that people can try and reproduce it, deploy it, learn from it. Yeah, we have a, we have a very fine, uh, very nice uh, uh, instructions. Nice. Just in awesome. readme.md. Awesome. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Really appreciate you sharing this. Thank you.